Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. So today I am here in front of you with another set of minis. These are 6 inch by 6 inch canvas from Michaels. Last time I did these on wooden panels and this time I'm going to use the canvas. And um, the colors are going to be a tad bit different because last time it was very colorful and vibrant. This time I'm thinking of a little bit subdued colors. And there are a lot of questions that you're asking me about the minis. For example, everyone wants to know how am I making my gold lines so straight? Or how am I thinking about the colors, com color combinations? So I hope uh, with this video, I can show you those um, questions that you have. Um, so let's start. The base coat that I'm using, this is PPT Multi Pro Satin. So I'm going to use my scope and add some uh, base coat on this one. And this is straight house paint. There is nothing mixed into this. Only thing I'm trying to do is as I am pouring my paints just to make sure that I have I'm just using this stick from Home Depot and I'm just making sure that all the sides are covered. I'll put some extra paint here. One tip, if you are thinking of making your cells larger, you need more or thicker pillow. If you are thinking to keep your cells smaller, you don't need too much of a thicker pillow um, because the more it spreads, the cells are getting, going to get bigger. So I'm happy with this one. So the colors that I'm using today, first one is going to be, uh, let's see, Amsterdam Prussian Blue, which will go first. I'm not sure how these colors are going to work together, but I'll try my best. Then I'm thinking, how about Meteorite from TLP? Honestly, I'm really tempted to use this color. I have never used it before, but it seems like it should be really beautiful. So I'm playing with that parakeet another favorite of mine then i have some starling again from tlp and tiny bit of sea glass at the end I want to use, let's see, black, I'll just shake some, shake my black selectivator container because it's been sitting there for a while. So that's my black selectivator. Now I'm going to use my blow dryer. Okay, I want you to see these little lines there. I don't think I mixed all those paints really well. So, moment of truth. Um, no matter how many times you did it, some of the days you will mess up. That's okay. So, I'm going to spin now. Honestly, I love the color combination. And 
as you notice last time when I did this I first um, covered one side of the canvas or the wooden panel then I poured what happened was sometimes I saw the nicest part of the pattern was the part that I had to get rid of so this time I am pouring first then I'll get rid of the sides that I don't like and I will paint over it so I'm going to spin some more honestly if you if I have to recommend please if you want to own very limited number of TLPs sea glass is one of them you must it's a must i would say because and i honestly did not uh, used it a lot or before but as i am using it i the more i use the more i love i'm telling you if you use it once you'll be hooked it's the sea glass so let me wipe my hand then i'll bring you closer Look at the detail, really pretty. Look at the lacing. Wow, just simply, oh, let me move to remove the glares and as you can see, it's beautiful. Let it dry and then I'll decide which side I want to get rid of and paint over, okay? Next one. Let's see. So this is from Golden. It's called permanent violet dark you have seen me use this a lot because i like it starling meteorite really pretty color Parakeet. Also, what I'm going to do, this is a chameleon color. I was not very successful with this one before, so I'm going to try it again. Hopefully, it will work out this time. What do you think let the cell develop a little then we'll see and I'm gonna spin it before I decide what to do with this one because I see a lot of potential but I'm not sure if I would like it So as you can see, I have this black patch, but if I paint that side, that black patch will go away. So here's the benefit. If I taped it before I did my pour, if it messed up, I would have to keep the, um, so if, suppose I taped this side and all the nice side was this side, I would have to get rid of that regardless. If I paint it later, 
I have the option of getting rid of the parts that I don't really am not happy about so or I don't care about so that's the benefit of doing it later you know what I'm going to do it one more time it doesn't hurt So what I did was on the sides also, I rubbed all my other uh, colors from the previous pour. So I can cover all the sides nice and smooth. It's very important for these minis to have very good workmanship and to ensure that you have to make sure that your sides are really nice. So let's do this. Starling. Met your right. Parakeet. Some chameleon colors. The color is so pretty, but for some reason, I am not successful to showcase it in the bloom. There we go. Looks better, right? Spin. Very pretty. Okay, let me put take it to the light side and see how pretty it is. Oh my my. That's what I meant. The sides have to be so yummy that people will stop just to look at the sides. Look at that. All the cells. Oh my, look at those cells. And... So pretty. The third one took me three or four tries to get, get it right. And I'm going to show you all three just to give you an idea why I changed or I poured over them. And uh, I will move on. That way my video can be a little bit shorter than it should be. I love this mat because it shows you how to center so I wanted to off center of the a bit because I want some cells move on to that direction so I just moved this to the side and let's spin here's the problem see I'm losing all the cells here hmm why is that everywhere it else it's working but this side i am losing the um, structure of the cells oh well now you know which side i'm going to paint over i don't like this and i'm not very happy about this area so i will do this one more time
so this is the second try of this piece and i'm still not happy i'm going to do it one more time the more i look at it the more irritated i feel it's so disgusting probably i don't like the color combination so i'm going to do something different okay i'm gonna keep it we'll see i have reservation about this color though we'll see you'll have to tell me what to do with this one but i will keep it because i'm too tired to do it again i have done it three times already so this is going to be a set of four and this is the last one what color are you thinking that i'm going to do if you're thinking green you're right Hopefully this will help the paint flow better. So, as I said, I'm thinking green, the fourth one. This is Jenkins Green from Golden. bit of Prussian blue don't want to forget my sterling and meteorite very important these two colors are tying the whole set together I feel like or at least that is my intention maybe it's working maybe not that is also something we can talk about in the comment section um, this is a learning process and we, this is a learning video so the more comment you make it helps me also figure out the fine details sometime because otherwise once I do it no one talks about it and I'm thinking okay done I don't analyze what i did wrong or something so please help me with that this is my last one so i'm just scraping all the spatulas so i can use them later on sea glass somehow got moved let's do this the Jenkins green from Golden.
I like the Jenkins green and the Prussian blue combination. Really pretty. I love the, these, the other three so much, but I'm going to do the third one again because I don't get any pleasure out of that. Painting should be a fun process. It should not be annoying. Right now I am annoyed by that. I'm going to redo this one again. I apologize. It's the fourth time, so bad. First, I'm gonna start with Golden's Quintaclone Nicola Hogor. Well, well, nothing worse, That's, this is the color I go back to. So, for Golden, from Golden, buy at least this color uh meteorite from tlp starling from tlp now what parakeet from tlp I am going to add some of this, um, what is it called, the chameleon color. I'm trying to really try to make it work. It's so expensive. A tad bit of paint, it's $16, so I really want it to work. Anyway. So this is the magic of Nikola Hogold. I hope you can see that. This is why everyone says buy one, buy one of the Nikola Hogold because it's irreplaceable. I'm gonna wait a little so those gathering of black paints go away. So it's going away, but not all the way. So I'm gonna use my syringe or dropper. Nice, right? It's been. The sails are so pretty. That's my Nicolaho gold. Just sucking up all the extra cell activator that we have over there. So 
So basically, Nicola Hogol is a quick fix. Nothing works. Go to Nicola Hogol, just like now. So you close up. Pretty, 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 huh? Oh, look at that corner. So, um, one thing I want to mention, I kind of mixed my, um, silver and what is it called? Starling and uh, meteorite at the, uh, the end. And I mixed too much of a Josonia and that made those two paints more liquidy than I, it should. And that's why you see these squiggly cells. I'm just telling you why. All of the colors should have same consistency. Those three were kind of more loose than I like to have them. So this has been 48 hours. Now um, it's all dried. Turned out really pretty. Look at those cells and lacing. It's wonderful. So, I am thinking of which side I want to cover up. So, here's the thing. I really love this side. So, probably, I will try to save that side. So, I'm, just to get an idea. I have these two steering sticks. I'm going to use these two to cover up. To see how it turns out if i paint this side this part will show that's option number one if i move it this way and cover these sides that's my option number two i can also cover up this side and the rest should be out. That's option number three. And now you have option number four. So four ways you could do the minis. Now it's completely your personal preference which side you want to cover up. So... So of the four options, I have chosen option one because I would cover up this side. It, it's beautiful, but I feel like these are way more prettier and more um, interesting as far as look goes. So I'm going to save this side and I'm going to color this side or paint this side. So the benefit, so the benefit of pouring before I take my band side is I think that you could you get to choose which side is the prettiest one but if you put your tape first like my previous video I think you get yourself into a tight spot to make like the pressure of making this side the opposite side of the band prettier but you know with fluid art that's there's no guarantee for it so I'm thinking I'm just eyeballing I am going to paint this much so this side will be painted I'm making sure that with my nail I'm scratching the making sure I don't get any run over right no I didn't did you see oh boy so as you can see it's here and I need to move my tape a little
Okay, so here we are. Let's look at the next one. This one is very simple. I'm going to cover this side because this side is really ugly. So that's pretty straightforward. Let's see how much I'm covering up. To measure it, I used my previous one. I, like it doesn't have a set rule how much you want to cover up, just how much it looks nice on your eyes. But make sure that on the set, everyone has the same coverage. So that's that. last piece look at this one. Oh, so pretty on this side and this side i'm definitely i'm covering up this side so that's how i decide which side i'm going to cover and for the sake of not making the video too long i will tape it up and i will show you how i paint now that we taped everything let's start with the painting so to paint i just I'm using this one which has full coverage. It's called Golden uh, Natural Gray. So I'm going to use a brush. Sometimes you will see that no matter how much they say that it gives you full coverage. Sometimes depending on how thick you lay your first coat, you might need a second coat. So let's see. some more I'll let it dry.
so let them dry i have this gray and i took some tiny bit of pen spray let's see so
now i am basically taking out the tape uh, while the paint is wet because that way i can ensure that i don't have to um, peel or any paint is not going to peel so there we are as you can see Another benefit of pouring before the um, partition because now I don't even have to worry about uh, paint peeling. So there we are. Let me show you all four. Now you can see all of four of them right next to each other. After they dry really well, I am going to go back and um, put the golden border. Next step, I am going to tape so i can draw the gold line um when i started doing this i did not realize that there's this dent on the framing so i have to walk around it so look at this one um do you see the line i leave a tiny bit of space between the border and the solid line so that's what i'm going to do i feel like that gives this a very professional look Now I will put the other tape on the other side of the line. So okay, I probably want to make it a tiny bit of thin, thicker than what I have right now. Let's see. looks nice so now I have this last time I used metallic pens this time I'm going to try this and see how it turns out it was just at my home so why not give it a shot this is kind of a um, what is it it's kind of a cream thingy. Looks really shiny. So now as you can see it's done, let's take off the tape, this is the most satisfying part, look at that. When I was working on the wooden panel, I did the corners as well with, with metallic, but with the canvas, I'm not going to do that because it's not very really defined. Or uh, I should not say that. Let's see what happens. So for now, I will let it dry.
I think this deco art cream is way, working way more better than the um, pens that I used before the um, the gold line is much brighter and more crisper than uh, when I use or last time when I used the pen so that's a new trick that I learned and by the way I really want to apologize for making this video too long because it's so many steps and if you want to put everything together it turns out being a long video and i'm not even adding the resin part on this video uh, so just before resin this is how i would make the minis and after that i'll just resin it um thank you so much for watching this video and please 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 write some comments that helps my channel to grow and also if you have questions i try to answer them as much as possible um so until next time bye